project I'm working on right now. I don't think anybody would have, have ever seen it coming unless they were clairvoyant. It's a different vibe, you know, it's a different, different journey. When I decided that I wanted to do this, I never thought that uh, it really had a possibility of getting to this, this point. Something completely different, you know, this is something I'm stepping into that feels almost like the first time I stepped into the studio, that first, am I gonna be good enough for this producer? Am I gonna be good enough for this, this project? This is it. I'm about to surprise you with a project that is so far out of anything I've ever done before. I could not be any further away from my comfort zone. It's pretty intimidating and, and pretty exciting. I'm about to do a project that none of you would have ever seen coming. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. I'm about to record a Frank Sinatra record with Frank Sinatra's band. Stop it, kid. And it's all for charity. You know, I personally want to raise money uh, for Down syndrome. Uh, my daughter has Down syndrome and it's become a big cause for me. This is Stella. It's my girl. It's my first baby girl. She's the inspiration for the whole project. You know, now I know my purpose. You know, it's just going to be raising money for Down syndrome. Guess what I'm going to sing when I go to Chicago? I'm going to Chicago and I'm going to sing. I hear music when I look at you. <laughs> A beautiful thing of every dream. I ever knew. <laughs> Down deep in my heart, I hear it play. I feel it start <laughs> and then melt away. Make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung. And a wonderful fling to be blown. The Frank Sinatra thing has been something that I've, I've been a big fan of my whole life. Old Blue Eyes notebook with all my notes in it. You know, I spent, I don't know how many, how many hundreds of hours on, on going through and just analyzing everything. I have put more work into this than I think almost anything musically in, in, in my life. Tips on popular singing, you know, his old book that he wrote with his vocal teacher. Hang with him, you could not hang with him. Huh. You were in a bus with him. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the musicians I'm about to record with were touring members of Frank Sinatra's band. So this is, this is an epic moment for me. I anticipate them kind of going, you know, who's this rock and roll kid thinking he can swim in our pool and, and, and perform with us. I went on YouTube to see what Mark does. I told my wife, man, I don't know what I'm going to do with this project. Want to come out here and sing it yeah, yeah. And so the best yeah. that I can do is wow. pray. <laughs> Is, 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 pray. And I don't expect them to respect me walking into that room. I just hope I earn their respect by the time I leave it. Fantastic. Cool. You did your homework. Oh my gosh. After I think he's like, great, you did your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Approval from the band leader. Oh. Mark is killing it. To see a guy who is from musically a completely different world, obviously has done his homework. You can tell. Yeah. He's not trying to sing Sinatra. He's really doing it extremely well. My big idea is uh, to do this record and then um, 
challenge other musicians, athletes, entertainers, anybody with a, with a platform. I want to challenge people to, to get out of their comfort zone and to do something that's not expected of them, to um, shock people and to raise as much money and awareness as they can for whatever charities that they want to. Song, let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for. All I Mark's really doing the real stuff. Yeah. You know, this is the real deal here. Please be true.